Hi, welcome to Mr. King's Chemistry. Today we are going to learn about macro molecule. So in macro molecule, this chapter itself it is very important in exam as they often ask you to draw the 3D structures of macro molecules. So how do you draw this? It is very important. So basically in your syllabus, there are three types of macro molecules that you need to know. The first one will be diamond another will be silicon for oxide and the last one will be graphite so how do you draw the 3d structures of each of these it is very easy so always remember okay always remember i mean the main component in all this macromolecule it is carbon right so in diamond itself one carbon it will bind to another four carbon right which remember one carbon will bind to four carbon then continue with the structure is self okay mm. one carbon four mm. like this all right so basically this is how you draw the 3d structures Okay, basically you can just stop here. Right, at least two levels and above. Okay, so this is how it looks like. The 3D structures. Right, for silicon or for oxide, it's basically almost the same as diamond. But there are some differences. I will show you how, why. Right, so same thing is carbon. Carbon. Mm hmm Okay, basically you can just draw until this level will do. Right. But the differences between diamond and silicon four oxide is that we know that one silicon it will bind with four oxygen. So basically you can draw exactly the same things as diamond, but just in between the silicon atoms, you just add oxygen. Okay, this is oxygen, 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 oxygen. So basically you just add oxygen in between the silicon that's it so we see this is how you draw for silicon for oxide whereas for graphite it's a bit different because you know that i mean in graphite it is basically arranged in layers right so it's hexagon okay same thing something like this mm -hmm. five six all right then combine mm. Then that's another layer. Hmm. So we see yes, basically there will be a lot of layer, but in exam you just draw two layers will do. Then there will be like weak forces of attraction in between the atoms of the layer. This is the attraction. So basically, you use dotted line to represent the weak forces of attraction. Right? So basically, if in an exam, if they ask you to draw the 3D structures of macromolecules, so basically for diamond, this is the way you draw this. Silicon for all side, this is the way. So basically, they are almost the same, just they need to add oxygen in between the carbon atom. Right? Then, followed by graphite. Very easy. Right? So far, so good. Good luck. Thanks. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you. Ciao.